Well, first of all, the, the IPO market in Europe, as you're probably aware, it's pretty crowded. There's been lots of IPOs. They haven't done very well in the last few months. So uh, I guess there is some skepticism from the part of investors about new invest, new new, uh, new uh, products in the market, new uh, companies in the market. However, the most important reason is uh, we wanted to be able to select the best possible group of investors. And obviously, there is a trade-off between uh, the quality of investors and price. So the maybe not the best price uh, for the seller is actually a better price for the buyer. So that's kind of where the trade-off is and uh, where we decided to end up uh, kind of as a, as a best uh, optimal balance. But, but so just to follow up, I have never seen in my lifetime, and I'm sure it's a similar situation for you as well, so much money trying to find a home in sustainability, in renewables, in ESG as well. I'm just interested in, in what those big investors were saying to you about the valuation. Do we Have we got um, a problem now in valuations of renewable and um, sustainable assets going forward? Well, I don't think we have a problem. I mean, I'm, I'm very much on the contrary. We have a lot of capital flowing in, and uh, obviously capital is absolutely necessary for uh, the full development of this industry. Uh, but uh, there is, when a lot of newcomers are entering the market uh, from the side of investors and from the side of new projects, and uh, I guess investors do become a little bit um, more discriminating and uh, the capacity you need to make a double effort uh, to uh, make sure that investors do understand what uh, exactly is that you are proposing as a as a business proposal to them and uh, make sure that what you are proposing is a very solid uh, is a very solid uh, project